A master sees every setback as a catalyst for progress. Don't lose heart. That was the last time we bargained with Valhalla. Any edge would help. A few tactical adjustments and you're sure to get further next time. Look, brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. Ah! 
Guard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of peace, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us, it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. <sighs> this is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Fights in a row now. Valhalla's demands are escalated. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go back, we should bargain with Valhalla. Maybe get some more of the place unlocked for us. Battle is unpredictable, as is life. Bargaining with Valhalla again might give us an advantage, no? It is all too common to fall to one of the chosen enemies of Valhalla. Don't lose heart. Yeah. 
Talk about that image of you in the shrine we keep seeing. If Valhalla keeps pulling it out of your head, it must have some significance to you. Could it be that the idea of being loved and respected is a fair might better than the alternative? I hear me out. Let us talk later. I need to focus. No, no, no. focus. back to that image of you on the shrine. I'll grant you ambition can be a poisonous motive, but your ambitions are only to help people, not for your own glory, will right? speak later. Don't let me stop you! Ah! Whoa! 
Since there are more challengers like it to find, that is how we earn our way forward. Now then, the path should be unlocked. Let's make our way up. Congratulations, old friend. You 
you really are going places in Valhalla. Where is Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time? Can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm? So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what I should say. Core is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all going to work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. This room must really take you back. Whoa. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. <clears throat> what, what are you doing, Kratos? Sacrifice me? Again? towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flames. <laughs> 
Come on, you won't get very far. I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly! See what happens? I swear you haven't changed one solid brother. What am I doing in here? Come here. Come here. Thing. Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment.
as I will be forever in yours. Seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. There's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there and do what you need to do. Shh. Well, that was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest. The next, I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios and back again. It was unpredictable. I'll say. I'm truly not sure if we'd gone too far, or if we'd come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. It's been a while since we attempted to bargain with Valhalla. Might help. It's encouraging to know Valhalla wants to help. <laughs> 